Hello, Fisher here from Recharge Wrestling. Um, this is video attempt number two. I already recorded one, but the, the file just for some reason uh, didn't seem to want to upload. So I'm redoing my predictions. I'm going to keep it kind of brief because the other one was probably a little bit long anyway. There's a lot of matches to get through. Um, it's AEW time. Um, it's the first AEW predictions of the year. Obviously, to win our predictions league, something to some a different kind of predictions. We've done WWE ones. Um, I don't, you know, not everyone may not watch AW in our league or watch it as religiously. So it's going to give a different, um, a different feel to our predictions league. That's for sure. Um, sort this camera out in a little minute. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, yes. So, you know, it's going to be very interesting. Keeney and Krusty will obviously be uploading theirs as well later. I'm doing mine first. Um, and then we'll tweet about it and you guys can all join in and let us know your predictions for the show. Um, obviously, it's a T-shirt to be one at the end of the year for someone outside of um, outside the Recharge Wrestling crew. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, so, I, obviously, I've already said all this once, so I'm not. I'm going to keep it brief. Pre-show matches. Um, you're not going to spend too long on them, um, but it's good to know what we're doing in advance. Um, not, you know, sometimes WWE announces pre-show matches like a few hours before the show, so we can't really predict them. Here we've, we've got a full card, which is great. Um, so Chris Outlander and Layla Hirsch, not too much to say about this. Um, I'm glad Layla Hirsch is getting an opportunity here. I think she's been a bit underutilised. But I think Chris Outlander wins. Um, yeah, I just think, you know, she's just probably viewed in a high position at the two. Um, Hook v QT Marshall, excited to see Hook on a on a bigger stage you know he's only really wrestled on rampage so it's really cool that he is uh i know it's only to appreciate but still um against qt marshall um we're all big hook fans and i think hook wins here i uh, can't really see anything but that happening facing a revolution ladder match so you've got keith lee powerhouse hobbs ricky starks um orange cassidy wardlow and then either christian cage or ethan page that match will be decided on rampage tonight um so, yeah, um, this one I was torn, I was saying before, that I, you know, I think there's two people I think can win. Well, there's more than two, actually. I think Powerhouse Hobbs has an outside chance winning, but I was torn between Keith Lee, because obviously he's new in the company, big star, could do that. You just have him versus Sammy Guevara, face versus face, and just do that on TV. Or you can set up something more story-related here. And I'm going to go for that option. I think Wardlow wins this match. They hinted about him winning on... Um, on Dynamite and MJF said he can keep it, but I've got a feeling maybe he'll reverse that decision. Um, or he goes for it, but he costs Wardlow the match and that leads to their, finally, their confrontation. Um, so I'm going to go for Wardlow here. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for this match. Three big men in there. You've got the, the Wardlow stuff. You've got, obviously, Powerhouse Hobbs and Ricky Starks are kind of teammates. So there's there's interesting um, things there. And I think Keith Lee in a big ladder match like this is going to be awesome. Um, so really excited for this one. I think it'll be a really entertaining match, even though we've had our sort of criticisms of the, the booking of it in sense of, you know, T, T and T title matches are given out all the time. Why is, there a, why is there a ladder match to qualify for it? It's a bit random, but we can let that slide. Tornado tag, six-man tag. Don't really know why this one's on the card, to be honest. Uh, Andrade Ali Delo, Isaiah Cassidy and Matt Hardy versus Darby Allen, Sammy Guevara and Sting. Um, I think we are going to get some sort of twist here because I don't really see what this is on the card. I think this is an easy win for Darby Allen, Sammy Guevara and Sting. I think that's that's I'm fairly confident on that. But I think we finally might get the split of the, the Hardy family office, which has not been a great faction. Maybe Jeff Hardy comes in here. I think his non-compete might finally be up and it, it would make sense for the Hardy boys to get back together. I think that's what everyone wants. I think Matt Hardy kind of needs it at this point. Um, and then Andrade can do, it, do his own thing. I, I, well, I, I would prefer it that way. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go Derby, Sammy and Sting to win this one. AEW TBS Championship match, Jay Cargill, Ty Conte. Bit of a shame for Ty Conte, I think, because she's lost... She lost obviously, I think the last AEW pay per view to Britt Baker, and then she's getting the other title shot. And I think she's, I think she's going to lose again. It's a bit of a shame for her, but she is at least getting big matches. But you can't take the title off Jade yet. She needs to go. I mean, I said it on the podcast uh, last night. It's out now, by the way. Um, so if you, you know, if you want to listen to uh, 
two old podcasts it's available or on our youtube channel just look at our videos and you'll find it um you know i said that jade cargill needs a, a long undefeated streak not quite a goldberg run but like a, a similar type of thing so she shouldn't lose, lose the title just yet um so i think jade wins three-way tag team championship match Jurassic Express, the Young Bucks and Red Dragon. I've gone back and forth on this one. I changed my mind loads of times over two teams. I don't think the Young Bucks need to win, really win the tag titles, but Red Dragon have come in. They could do what they do with the in NXT with the Undisputed Era, put all the titles on here because Adam Cole's going for the, the main event as well for the, the AW Championship. They could pull the trigger on that now, have Red Dragon win, up the tension with the Young Bucks. But I sway towards Jurassic Express retaining and the Young Bucks and Red Dragon um, feuding more with each other, continuing that storyline with Adam Cole and, and Jurassic Express moving on to somebody else and losing there um, to somebody, maybe like Santana or Ortiz or someone like that later, later down the line. Um, so yeah, Jurassic Express retained, but I'm really not sure on this one. It could go, it could go anyway, but I wouldn't surprise me at all if Red Dragon won. AEW Women's Championship, I think this is going to be the big title change on the show. I've said for ages that I think Thunder Rosa should be the one to beat Britt Baker. Bit confused when Rosa pinned Baker on Dynamite. I didn't think they should have done that in the build-up. Um, I never like it when champions get pinned in the sort of build-up to a match. Um, yeah, so that kind of put a bit of doubt in my mind because that traditional book, especially maybe with condition with WWE, they do that a lot where the champion gets pinned in the build-up and then they retain. So there is a chance Britt wins because of that kind of pattern. But I do think Thunder Rose is winning here. I think they've just gone all in on making Rosa look strong in the build-up and then they think she's going to win here. I think maybe Jamie Hayter situation, maybe she accidentally costs her and that, that, that feud can sort of ramp up a bit or maybe Mercedes Martinez gets involved and helps Thunder Rosa. Something like that. But I'm going for Thunder Rosa to win. Um, Chris Jericho the Eddie Kingston. Great, great story here. Um, I said it on the previous video, I'll say it again, Kingston needs a massive win here. He's, I think he's zero for four on pay-per-views in AEW. He never wins big matches. And they've been, you know, that's what the whole feud's been about. Jericho's been calling himself a big one and saying he can't ever win the big one. Um, so I think it's time. To, obviously, Jericho feels like he's at the tail end of his career now, putting people over. I think Jericho will put Eddie Kingston over here. Great. Santana and Ortiz may have some involvement. We saw them on Dynamite. Fist bump with Jericho. Did that mean anything? Are they going to get involved and try and help? Or are they still going to type team with Eddie? Is it going to be a swerve? Are they not going to get involved at all? I don't know. But I do think Eddie Kingston wins this match. He needs, he needs, I think if he loses here, he just becomes the guy. Oh, he always loses on the big stage. <coughs> um, which you don't want to be tarnished with that. Daniel, uh, Daniel, Brian, Brian Danielson versus John Moxley. This is a match that could definitely could go either way. Two very pushed top stars of the company. Um, really like the storyline of them maybe teaming together after this and they want to bleed, you know, fight each other to earn that. And I think you could do it either way. Either way, guy can win and it, they can make the story make sense. But I'm going to go for Brian to win because I think it makes slightly more sense that way that he beats John and then John Moxley's like, fair enough, you beat me, you showed how great you are. Let's team up build a faction, they bring in people like Lee Moriarty, uh, a couple of the younger talents, um, and start training people um, in their style. And I think it could be really, really awesome. But yeah, I think this match is going to be fantastic. I, I, my prediction is probably it's going to be the best wrestling match of the night. Um, although maybe not. The main event might be really, really good. Um, but yeah, I think Brian wins, but this really was a split, 50-50 split. Like, I really don't know who's going to win, honestly. <clears throat> but you've got to pick one man. And I'm going for Brian. Dog collar match, CM Punk v MJF. I said it on the podcast. I think this has been the best wrestling story over the last few months. Um, really, really good. Like MJF's work in this has been outstanding. So is CM Punk's. Uh, last week's promo was fantastic. This week's stuff was great. And talk about this week's stuff. I think, <clears throat> I again, I was torn on this. Who was going to win? MJF won the first one, obviously. Do they do 50-50 booking? Or do they... Um, put MJF all the way over here and have sit and beat CM Punk twice. Um, but I think you can play in again to the Wardlow story here. You can maybe do something there. And just the way the the booking went on Dynamite makes me think Punk's winning here. 
Um, but I'm not 100% sure at all. But I'm going to go for CM Punk. I'm going for CM Punk to win. Um, get his win back. Maybe I don't think they're going to do a third match. I feel like there should be a few ending style match, dog collar match, but um, that would make them one all. So we'll see. Maybe they have another match way down the line. I could see MJF or someone winning the, the title, and then maybe they can you can do a third match something like in a year's time, um, like they did with Hangman and Omega, you know. Um, and then the AEW Championship match main event: Hangman Page and Adam Cole. Um, not really built as the main event as such. Um, but it will, I think it will close. The, I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed, actually. It will close. I think it's going to be a really good in-ring match. Um, you know, when Adam Cole first came into AW, I thought maybe he would be the guy to be the next AW champion. I don't think he's been built enough for that yet. Um, I still think he probably will win it at some point, but I don't think he will win it here off of Hangman Page. Um, I think Hangman Page retains. Um, mm. Will Kenny Omega return here? Is he ready to come back? Because he could he get involved in this sort of storyline with Cole and the Bucks and stuff? Um, maybe, potentially. I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go for Hangman Page to, reta- to retain here. Um, so that's all of the show. There's quite a lot of matches there. Really looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be a really good show. A really strong card. Uh, look out for Keeney and Krusty's videos, like I say. <laughs> They'll be coming up later or tomorrow, maybe. Um, shows on Sunday so we've got a bit of time look out for our Twitter Uh, predictions will be going up for everyone in our prediction league Uh, follow us there if you're not already at Recharge Wrestle as you can see Robot Republic presents this um, you can follow them on Twitter at Robot Republic underscore as well Um, they've got you know loads of podcasts and our videos go up on their channel as well so look out for that Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoy enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy AEW Revolution. And uh, speak to you soon. Goodbye.